Okay, so now that we have our headers and footers ready, we'll create the homepage and go over the essentials of working with the Elementor editor. We've already added the nav menu pages using the Finder, but we don't have a homepage yet. Go to Pages, Add New, and name it Home. Click Edit with Elementor. The default setting displays the header and footer we created earlier, but if you're using a theme with sidebars and other theme content, they'll show by default as well. In order to avoid this, simply set the page layout to Elementor full width. It automatically includes the header, full width content, and footer, which is exactly what we need for our website. To do this, go to the page settings via the gear icon in the lower left corner and change the page layout to Elementor full width. This will also hide the page title. Okay, great. Let's get familiar with the Elementor interface. On the right side is the editing area of the page. This is where you can add and edit elements that form the layout of your page. On the left side is the Elementor panel. Here are creative tools called widgets. Widgets are used to add elements to your page, like headings, text editor, images, and videos. You can always access this area by clicking the widgets icon here on the top right. On the top left, you have a hamburger menu button with many options, such as site settings, theme builder, and user preferences. Site settings, as it sounds, allows you to globally define your site's settings, all from one place. It syncs your team and your clients around how everything on your site should look and behave, empowering you to create a cohesive design system and maintain consistency across your site. Theme Builder, as we reviewed before, allows you to visually customize your website headers, footers, archive pages, single post pages, and many more areas of your site. Here you can also open the Finder and click View Page to see your live website or Exit to Dashboard to go back to your WordPress dashboard. At the bottom is another panel with a few more key features, such as page settings, where you can give the page a name and choose a page layout like you saw earlier. Here's the navigator, which helps you get a clear and organized view of your page. Currently it's empty because we haven't added any content yet. We'll use it later. Here we can see our edit history to view recent changes and revert back to previous versions. And next to it is the responsive menu for switching between screen modes and making mobile edits. We can preview our changes, and when ready to go live, just hit this Publish button. There are other save options as well, which I'll talk about later. Okay, great. Now let's take a closer look at how pages are built. There are two ways you can start. Let's begin with the library. Here you can preview Elementor's pre-made blocks and pages, as well as your own templates, and insert them into your page. I'll go ahead and insert this block so you can see. Elementor uses three main building blocks, sections, columns, and widgets. Sections are the largest and can be identified by their blue border, like you see here. Inside them are columns. In this case, there's one column. You can identify them by the black dashed border. These columns house widgets, such as the text and button you see here. You can control the section, column, and widgets with their handle. To edit the section, column, or widget, simply right-click its handle, where you can edit, duplicate, delete, and more. You can move sections, columns, and widgets around by simply dragging and dropping them. The blue line indicates where it will be positioned when you let go. Sections, columns, and widgets have three tabs in the panel on the left. Sections and columns have layout, style, and advanced tabs, whereas widgets have content, style, and advanced tabs. Soon we'll see how these settings are used to design our page. But first, I'll go ahead and delete this section, because we'll create our home page from scratch. Another way to add sections is by pressing the plus icon over here. Then simply choose one of these preset structures, which we can tweak to our liking as we go. And that wraps up the overview. Keep watching to learn how to build your first page with Elementor.